Hello, and welcome to another episode of Battle Ready. You ready? Ready. Where today, I thought we'd talk about something we mentioned before when we were discussing 4th edition, when it was coming out. And I think one of the complaints we uh, had heard a lot of, and we may have had ourselves, um, is that 4th edition brought a lot less flavor to the game. A great example of that is that, you know, it used to be that every War Scroll had, even your lowly, mm-hmm. lowliest War Scrolls tend to have like two or three abilities. And uh, in the new edition... They have six because everything's an ability. Well, I guess that's true. That's one, <laughs> that's one way of looking at it. But War Scroll specific abilities, they tend to have a lot fewer. Mm-hmm. Most things in the game have one. Yeah. Then some important things might have a couple. And then, like, your Nagash, you know, your, your big monsters will, like will still have some. But, like, Humble Liberator Got has one. one, right? Ogre Gluttons, Got one. So, the thought was, hey, you know, there's a lot of lore behind these guys. There's reasons we're bringing them because of their coolness factor. Mm-hmm. But that's not being represented on the tabletop. So, is it making the game more homogenous and less flavorful? What are your thoughts? I think it definitely does lose a little bit of flavor. Uh I think that's because the rules were simplified. Sure, sure. We can't have liberators with like seven different abilities. So I I tend to agree with you. I think that there is a flavor loss. Mm -hmm. However, I don't think it's as pronounced. As people make it out to be. as, As certainly as I thought it was going to be when we first talked about it, right? I feel like the... There is a little bit of loss, but the abilities that they have are actually, so they're different, Mm -hmm. right? But I think the abilities they have, including weapon abilities, do a good job of communicating what is this unit supposed to do, Yeah. right? On the battlefield, it's supposed to be... Your deck sitter. Your deck sitter. It's supposed to be something that's good at taking the charge. It's supposed to be something that's good at being a hammer and killing things. It's supposed to be, you know, whatever it is. And because of that, I feel like the sort of the lore flavor might be diminished a little bit, but the battlefield flavor has been brought up is actually enhanced. Yeah. It feels like, oh yeah, of course these guys are supposed to be my hammer and then their abilities make them hammery. Yeah. Right. So I feel like while there is a little bit of loss of flavor on one hand, you're actually gaining it a little bit. On the other. Mm. What, do you, what do you think? I think that's definitely true. The lower fears people might be a little bit sad. Yeah, I think, I think so. Although, again, I have to say, one of the reasons that the, the loss of flavor, you know, that we've been talking about, doesn't really bother me so much um, after having now several games under, the, under our belt, is uh, the lore is still all there. Mm. In the battle tome, yeah. in the war, the, on the faction, every war scroll card, has, has a little, like, a little blurbs, yeah, has a little paragraph about what it's about and what the guy's like. So you can still see in your mind's eye what that unit is doing and what it's supposed to be yeah. doing. It just doesn't always have, you know, it used to be that everything that was modeled on the model got an ability. Oh, yeah. Like with the knight in Cantor, it had a little crystal on its belt. So had a rule yep. for that crystal on its belt, right? It's spirit vial or whatever it was called. Yeah. And so they started to move away from that, which I think is good. But um, because of that, I feel like you're not losing that much flavor lore because the flavor lore comes from your battle tone, mm-hmm. comes from your war scroll card, mm-hmm. comes from your head cannon. Like, what do you think this yeah. thing is about, right? So I don't feel like there's a huge loss there. Do you feel like, do you miss it? Do you miss having lots of different abilities that communicate all the lore behind no. the thing? No, why not? We forget them. I think that is important, too. They never happen. So besides besides the, the flavor tech part of it, I think the game is just better with more condensed war scrolls. Because they're like, oh, I forgot this and this. Which yeah. one led this? Which means I scored 20 more points. Which means <laughs> yes. So, I mean, and it still happens that we forget things. Right? It still happens. Yeah. But, but I've less. noticed that it's a lot less, right? I've noticed that in our games of fourth edition, we've played, you know, half a dozen or so. In our games of fourth edition, we say, oh, shoot, can I go back? Way less. Oh, yeah. Still there. Sure. We haven't, we haven't mastered everything. 
but way less. And I think that actually that makes the game better because it's a better playing experience mm -hmm. when you can just do your things and have fun in the yeah. moment rather than having to constantly look at your cards and be like, oh, that's right, I forgot this guy had a ward. Let me roll my ward real quick. Yeah. Right? So I do think that the even if there is a loss in flavor, it's made up for a lot in the way the game is enhanced mm -hmm. by that. Also, uh, the battle tomes did get way better. There's way more stories. That's yeah. the rat tome. I like, tome. yeah, so far we've only seen one battle tome. The tome right? of the rat. The tome of the rat. Um, the, by the time this goes out, the Stormcast one may be available, but as of recording, it's not quite out yet. Nope. Um, so we can't say for sure what all battle tomes are going to be like, but if this is the, the Skaven one shows the direction, it's really good because they have taken to a lot of lore. And stories. And stories and little snippets here and there, which is great. Not everything has to be a short story or mm -hmm. a novel or whatever. There's little snippets. There's six snippets of Skavens just being jerks to each other. And well, the thing is that's so interesting about it is so much of it is written in universe, mm -hmm. right? Whereas the previous editions, it was like, you know, omniscient. This is how the Skaven are, <laughs> right? And it's like, oh, okay. You just, you just told me everything. Whereas the new one is like, here's what the cities of Sigmar people think about it. Yeah. Oh, here's how the daughters of Cain have reacted to him. There's oh, here's what, they, what the Skaven think about the dwarves or whatever. Mm -hmm. There's one whole page, just like little one, two sentence snippets, and it has clan faction symbols. Yeah, it's very, very cool. It makes, it makes the battle tome feel more mm -hmm. in-universe, right? Yeah. It feels more lore. It feels like you're diving into what, what they are about. <laughs> rather than just having been told, uh, these guys are the hitters, right? Um, so I do feel like a little less lore, but one, Battle Tomes, this edition, Battle Way Tomes, better. Battle Tome, Tom. assuming that's representative of what's coming, awesome. uh, make up for a lot of that. Yeah. Two, the better gameplay makes up for a lot of that. Yes. And three, I feel like the flay, like there's, Maybe not lore flavor so much represented on the battle top, the, uh, the tabletop, but um, unit role flavor is super. Is you are feeling like ah yes, because these guys are my chargers, I'm, they get a bunch of abilities to charge. So when I charge them, I know they get some kind of special mm -hmm. thing, right? Because you, it helps you remember those abilities because you're like, yeah, that's my fighting unit. Oh yeah, that's my defensive unit. So it helps you remember those. And overall, I would say that it is an enhancement. Yeah. What do you think? For sure. Why is that? Uh, I think that it's an enhancement because the game runs smoother. For sure. Yep. 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 The lore is better in the books. Yep. I agree. And sort the lore and tabletop, while they can definitely synergize, uh, this edition sort of says, you play the game here. You need the Lord's here. And there's a nice middle ground. <laughs> you, so do you like that, they're, that they have moved away from putting lore abilities onto yes. units? Yeah? For sure. Why is that? Because I feel like, like with the Knight Encanter, those little vials are like that big. Uh -huh. Why would he be throwing them? <laughs> well, I, I mean, I think that's a little bit of a different question whether or not those the lore things make sense. Mm. But like just as an example, it used to always be that Croxagore benefited from having skinks around, right? Because yes. they were like little skink protector dudes. And so skinks. there was always some kind of rule about if skinks are around, they can use commands easier. Mm. Or if skinks are around, they get pluses to hit or wound or something. And uh, they That's lost gone. pretty much all of that in yes. the newest um, edition. And so the question is, is that a... Is that a good thing? Because in the lore, they're still skink protectors, right? They still have this relationship with skinks that maybe the Saurus don't. But now you don't see that on the tabletop. Is that good or bad? I think I like that because when you think about it, the Croxagores are big stompy things. They are big stompy things. They probably, and they're really dumb. They're not really dumb. They're basically idiots. They're not idiots. You're thinking of trolls. That's what you're thinking of. Are they not comparable? They have the same health. They have the same. Actually, same. Crocodile would probably have more health. No, trolls have five health now. I think Crocodile are six. Really? Yeah. Because they used to be at four and third. Yeah. They got one more. I think so. So they so they went at six. They got another one health. So I think what we're trying to say is that 
I feel like the a little bit of loss of lore rules mm. is just it's beneficial for the game overall and they've taken other steps so that it, I don't miss it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't miss it as much. When we first saw those war scrolls, I was like, ah, oh, man, with only one ability, and they just do this thing where they get a control score a little bit better. Ah. But now that we've played the game several times, no, there's, there's really a lot more to it than that, and they feel like, for the most part, they feel like they're doing what they should be doing, mm -hmm. right? So I don't... I do not have any complaints about uh, missing out on flavor nope. in 4th edition. I'm getting none. The game is better. The game is better. Any uh, final flavory thoughts? No. No. All right. Well, let us know your thoughts, especially if you've been playing for a while, or at least in previous editions. Have you found a loss in flavor? Is it more stale? Is it more generic? Are you, are you less interested in putting your toys on the tabletop? Or... Do you find that the loss in flavor, if that if you believe us that there is one, is more than made up for with everything else? This has been another episode of Battle Ready. Ready. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching.